Hey guys, James here with Waterford Business Solutions, and today we're going to continue our series about talking about transferring from desktop to online for QuickBooks and QuickBooks Enterprise. Today we're going to specifically be talking about QuickBooks Enterprise. I've done two videos previously, one talking about the limitations and what will and won't transfer from QuickBooks Desktop. I definitely recommend taking a look at that one as that will be a major help there because a lot of those things will still apply to enterprise. And then I did another video talking about how to transfer from desktop to online. The transfer process from enterprise to online is very similar but it's slightly different. So this video we're going to hit on that along with what we also need to consider since enterprise has some functionality that desktop doesn't. So first and foremost is why we choose enterprise over desktop. That's where we need to start with. And there's generally three main reasons that we end up choosing enterprise. You've been using desktop for a while and you've just outgrown desktop. Desktop generally does not work well once we start getting over 400, 500,000 targets. And a target, I've talked about it previously, but a target is a data point. It's an invoice, a customer, an expense, a vendor. It's a measurement that QuickBooks uses to determine the size of your file. Um, it's really kind of difficult to explain it just because QuickBooks really can't explain it. They just say, look for the targets and it's something easy to find. But with that being said, desktop doesn't work well exceeding that four or 500,000 target limitation. So a lot of times people who want to continue being able to go back and look at all that stuff, instead of starting a brand new file, starting from scratch, yada, 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 they go ahead and they start using QuickBooks Enterprise because it's designed to handle 1 million, 2 million, 3 million targets. I've seen 3 million target enterprise files and they're massive. Um, with that being said, there's no real issue in the difference because most people don't really utilize the additional features that Enterprise has over desktop when that's why they transfer. The other thing is for reporting functionality um, because their reporting is honestly probably the best reporting out there. And I, this is where Enterprise definitely wins out over any other accounting system out there, even online is their reporting functionality is just so good and there's nothing else out there right now to really compete with it and if you seriously use quickbooks enterprise reports quickbooks online will not make up for that at this point in time they're still working on that they've added a version called QuickBooks Online Advanced and that's supposed to kind of meld the gap between QuickBooks Online and Enterprise but it's not quite there for reporting to be honest. But one thing that they do have in there is something called Fathom Reporting. Fathom Reporting gives us graphical reports and those graphical reports get us a lot closer to what Enterprise has but it's still not perfect. So if you highly highly rely on Enterprise reports I would definitely recommend taking a second look at everything and talking with someone about the reports that you run to see if there's a way around it in QuickBooks Online before you make that change. On top of that from the reporting is the support. You have with Enterprise, you're paying for a dedicated support, a dedicated account manager, a dedicated person to reach out to um, with QuickBooks. And that's not anything that you've ever been able to get before with QuickBooks Online. However, with that being said, as I mentioned earlier, we now have this advanced file here. Advanced is meant to bridge the gap again and make it more comparable to Enterprise. And so they've given this 24-7 premium support. This is the exact same support as you get with Enterprise. Same people not the same people you call into, but the same exact concept. These are advanced trained agents. These are people generally located in the United States that you're calling into, and you generally have a dedicated account manager, dedicated account specialist, and right here you can see dedicated account manager here with Priority Circle. It's the exact same thing that they call it in Enterprise. Enterprise has the same Priority Circle there, and so support-wise, you're not going to have an issue. 
The real issue that you're going to run into is transferring due to the size of most enterprise files exceeding the 350,000 target limit or the reports. So I'll go on here and you do have some customized reporting fields and you can put in some extra things here to make reporting a little bit better. And so it is a lot better than any other online version but it does take time to set up. It's not gonna be immediately like what you have in Enterprise right off the bat, right off the shelf. You're gonna to have to spend time setting it up. But then you also have these management reports and charts. This is what I was talking about with Fathom. It's a smart reporting system that's giving you non-financial information, your KPIs, graphs, et cetera, et cetera, to go ahead and use here to basically get information on your company. Fathom is one of the best reporting softwares out there and it does get you a lot closer to the reporting that Enterprise has, but it's graphically done instead of being a little bit more fundamentally done. You can get the reports in advance to be similar to Enterprise, but it's going to take time. So I do always recommend reach out to a certified pro advisor, someone who knows online, certified in online, and not someone who's against it, and talk to them honestly about whether it's gonna work for you. Because if you go to any pro advisor, there's a lot of people out there that have preconceived notions on online, and they haven't looked at how much it's changed in recent years, so do keep that in mind. So that's kind of what we want to look at before we decide to transfer you from enterprise to online. If we've made the decision now that we're going to transfer you to enterprise, you need to go through and you need to double check and make sure that your file is eligible to transfer. It's going to be everything that I talked about in the desktop determination video um, because you still want to go through again and look at that because that goes over what will and won't transfer. And it will also go over how to confirm that your file is eligible for transfer. But once we've confirmed that your file is eligible for transfer, what you're not going to have here is you are not going to have, give me a second, I've got to get to the page. You're not going to have this option to go to company and export company file to QuickBooks Online. This does not exist in Enterprise. So there's a different route that we have to go about it. So we're going to start with all the same stuff. We're going to check this product information screen by hitting your F2 and we really want to check this total target count. And that first video is going to go into a little bit more what we need to look at, but we want to check that total target count. Then we want to go ahead and back up your company. This is very important in case something gets screwy, in case some information is lost. We want to have a restore point that is exactly where, like right before we did everything and everything might have gone haywire. So make sure you do this. Once you restore this company um, or back up the company and create a local backup, then we'll come in and we'll set up your QuickBooks Online file. Um, choose which version you're going to use. Sign up for it. Sign up for payroll if you need to sign up for payroll. And then set it up and get to the point where you choose I've been using QuickBooks Desktop and want to bring my data over. Then click Next and choose to log out of your QuickBooks desktop file or QuickBooks Online file. When we go ahead and log out of that QuickBooks Online file, that's going to make it so that we can go ahead and start importing. Now, once we do that, we can't come to this screen. We can't go to company and go to export company file to QuickBooks Online. What we need to do is we need to come in back to this product information screen. And you get to this product information screen by hitting the F2 key or the FN F2 key. When you go ahead and hit those keys, this product information screen will pop up. From this screen, while you're looking at it, you're going to want to go ahead and hit the Control B Q button. Control B Q. So that's going to be Control Boy Queen. We want to go ahead and do that. Or if you're on a Mac, you're going to hit the Command B Q button. Same exact thing. The Command button acts as your Control button, and it's going to bring up the exact same screen as we would get here, where we go ahead and get asked to sign in to our QuickBooks Online account. 
from there it's going to work exactly the same as we're used to um, with everything going on there. Now, what isn't going to be exactly the same is if you are over that 350,000 targets, you're going to have to compress your file. You'll have to do that first. Once you do that, then you can come in here and you can start going through these steps. And again, just like I've said in the past, if you're located on a server, if you're located on right networks, if, it is, if your file is not located on your computer C drive, you will also need to make sure that you get it so it's located on the C drive. So once we log into your QuickBooks Online account, this is gonna be the login information you used when you signed up for QuickBooks. If you have inventory, it's going to ask you about inventory and whether you want to bring over your inventory, and you'll say yes or no. This is another thing with QuickBooks Online versus QuickBooks Enterprise. QuickBooks Enterprise, just like QuickBooks Desktop, does a lot more inventory-wise because online will only do FIFO, first in, first out inventory. They won't do any of the other inventory methods and their inventory tracking capabilities are not quite as robust. Don't let that discourage you though, because there's add-on applications that even when we add them on, will be less than what you pay for QuickBooks Enterprise that will give you way more features in the way of inventory than QuickBooks Enterprise ever did. Um, that is the nice thing about online, is it's designed to integrate with third-party companies so that you can get better functionality out of it. From there, if we have inventory, we make our decision there. We'll hit continue. Then we'll choose our company to export into. If you only have one QuickBooks company, you'll just choose that company and you'll hit continue. If you have multiple, make sure that you select the right company because when you import from desktop or enterprise into online, it will wipe anything and everything that's in that company any prior data that you have will be removed. So make sure that you're okay with losing all the data that is in your QuickBooks Online file if you have been using that file or you need to start a new file. The other thing is if your file, if you've been using it or you've, if you've had it for more than 60 days, it will be locked. You will not be able to import into it. So make sure that you have a newer file within 60 days. If it is locked, you can reach out to QuickBooks and they can reopen it for you to open it up and import into. But the reason they lock it out is because most files older than 60 days have information in them. So we do want to be careful of that. Once we do that, we're going to hit continue and it's going to give you this screen that they're moving your data. It's going to take some time to move the data. You want to stay on this screen, don't X out of it or anything like that until you get a congratulations or a confirmation screen. Once you get that congratulations or confirmation screen, that means that the data transfer has begun. That doesn't mean it's complete. The data transfer has begun and you will need to wait anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes to potentially 12 to 24 hours. Um, it really depends on the size of your file as to how long it will take to transfer over. Once everything is complete, you will come over and you'll get an email notification that says congratulations, your data is available in QuickBooks Online. You'll get that email notification, you'll be able to log in, you'll see all your data there, but don't start using QuickBooks Online yet. The first thing you want to do is you want to run a profit and loss sheet and a balance sheet out of QuickBooks Enterprise in accrual basis accounting to compare to the profit and loss and the balance sheet in your QuickBooks desktop account, or excuse me, in your QuickBooks Online. Those two should match up exactly. If you run a cash basis, it will not match up. You have to do this in accrual basis accounting. I can't repeat that enough times because I've had so many people on a cash basis and they said, oh, it's not working, it doesn't match, it, something went wrong. It has to be accrual basis accounting. Once you've confirmed that those match, that means everything moved over. That's about the only check that you can do without an accountant. This is where using an accountant is definitely, or a certified pro advisor, that's really who you need to be using, is really important. 
because those certified pro advisors will get an email that goes over exactly what transferred and what didn't transfer and why it didn't transfer so that we can better prepare you for what's over there and what's not over there. I always recommend that you work with a certified pro advisor, an online certified pro advisor who's used to doing these transfers as if issues come up, if an error happens in the transfer or something gets screwy and everything, they will be able to help guide you through it. They'll be able to help prepare you. They'll be able to help um, resolve issues rather than you figuring it out yourself. A good pro advisor will also help train you on how to use the new system. So that's definitely an important thing. Again, it is something you can do yourself and you're more than welcome to, but definitely reaching out to a certified pro advisor would definitely help you out in the long run. Guys, this is an overview of how to transfer from QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise to QuickBooks Online. I do, again, strongly recommend you watch the limitations in the transfer video that I've previously done. And once you watch that, come back and watch this video again. From there, I hope you enjoy this. If you have questions, if you run into issues, if you need help, don't hesitate to give us a call. Um, you can reach us at info at waterfordbusiness.com or shoot us a call at 229-584-8793. Thank you so much and y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.